What did doing corporate client interaction design work teach you about building culture? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, a, a lot of the, the clients I had when I was at Frog Design and, and many of the clients I have now at Thinktiv uh, are dealing with um, issues of corporate culture either explicitly or more, more frequently implicitly. Um, when uh, Thinktiv's clients are almost all startups and when you're a startup, uh, you have uh, the essence of the thing you're making, the intellectual property, the prototype, whatever, and then you have the people. That's it. You usually don't have anything else including a building uh, or any sort of uh, uh, other resources. So um, you are fundamentally structuring the organizational values at the same time that you're structuring the product uh, or service values. Um, in, in the case of the large, very large Fortune 10 and 15 companies I worked uh, with at Frog Design, uh, very frequently, the design artifacts that we would make, the, you know, we, we would get a job to do an iPhone app or, or a website, those would become political tools within the organization. Um, junior designers frequently bemoan the fact that those artifacts never see the light of day. They don't get built. Uh, they simply act as provocations within the organization for, uh, as an example, the office of the CTO and the office of the CMO to talk to each other. Um, because in, a, in an organization with 200,000 people, frequently you end up in, in a very small silo um, and, and you get really good at the thing that you do uh, and, and it's easy to, uh, to say it's us and them um, when in fact to the end user, the person who's going to buy your product, system, or service, they don't care that there's an office of the CTO and an office of the CMO. Uh, they care that the product is cohesive, usable, useful, and, and magical. Um, that magic is only going to come through that sort of uh, uh, cohesive organizational structure. Put another way, that should all be transparent. Uh, one should never have to actually know uh, that um, th they're or rather transparent to the end user, that there is in fact an organization. Um, they don't care. Uh, and so um, I learned that through many years of frustratingly bemoaning, like my junior designers, why isn't my thing getting built? Um, and the answer sometimes is it never, it was never intended to be built. It's simply acting as a facilitation device for these two organizational units.